How Business Owners Are Dealing With Well-Being Problems in the Haulage Industry Haulage industry leaders and mental health experts are looking for many ways to improve the mental well-being of haulage drivers. Morale in the haulage industry is at an all-time low. Haulage industry leaders and mental health experts are looking for many ways to improve the mental well-being of haulage drivers. Well-being in the haulage industry has never been at its lowest. With research from the mental health charity Mind in the UK, 30% of self-reported work-related illnesses in the logistics and transport industry are due to depression, anxiety, and stress coupled with irregular shift working patterns and long periods of social isolation. College companies need to support the mental health of their drivers. For a solid approach, it starts with the company itself. While there is an over-reliance on tools to do the job for us in the morning, in haulage this has never been more important. With rising costs, the potential to cut corners is higher than ever. With companies like providing more physical support in terms of tires and equipment, it is crucial to remember that the company has a duty to provide high-quality materials and equipment. This can bypass a lot of the stress and strain associated with truck drivers. The potential for damage arising from a poorly maintained or serviced vehicle is not just going to reflect badly on the company, but it will traumatize the driver for life. Another approach is to ensure the driver maintains their health. This is a very multifaceted approach because it comprises physical health, well-being, but also morale. Low morale will have a negative impact on productivity. The website shows the correlation between morale and productivity and the fact that it can be a slippery slope. One of the quickest ways to identify any sign of stress in your workers is to change in their sleep patterns. The best approach is to ensure that your driver has a say in their shift patterns. While it might not be possible to have everybody working during the day, it is vital to remember that haulage companies have a duty of care to their employees. And we can identify stress if there is a big change in sleeping patterns. This is why it's better to incorporate a long stretch of shifts during one time of day. For example, a month of night shifts proves beneficial because it can allow the driver to adjust, rather than swapping between night and day, which can hinder their ability to recover. Finally, it is more beneficial to listen to the employee and to establish their concerns. Many haulage drivers are prone to social isolation, but if they are struggling to balance career and family duties concurrently, the role of the employer has a duty to manage that effectively. Employees can feel that they are not in a position to raise concerns, and when they are working night shifts, hundreds of miles away from the base, they will feel more at sea than ever. The role of well-being in a haulage company needs to have the spotlight shown upon it. Photo credit, source CC0 license.